Hi guys, how you doing? So, at the beginning of every video, this will be implanted. Implanting things of how I'm trying to uh, dive deep into your subconscious memory. Okay, so tarot cards and stuff will start soon, but if people could literally please leave a timestamp below, so people can, when they see the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, if they've seen it, you can skip through it and then go to the reading, okay? But I very much would appreciate just a moment of your time. So one thing that I really do offer, and it's had great feedback, but it's constant it's constant stuff that comes to me okay so i'm going to teach you about a lot about vi vocabulary but a flair a flair but to focus to focus your energy and direct it to where you're truly supposed to be going of where i can dive deeper into your subconscious memory to literally trigger off the responses of where you find responsibility for one's own actions, okay? Now, a lot of this might seem very kind of physical, but it's physical and metaphysical. It's how we deal things with things in the actual physical that lead to the 3D response of time, which is still time, okay? It's the time of separation that you take where people can take from your subconscious memory and why that is so important and things that people are missing, okay? Because you end up missing in action and not realizing why retrograde still brings the same lesson around again when you think that you've got it, but then someone comes back for round three. 3D, okay, so why it happens in the 3D, because it's an energy tear and an energy flare of physics and also metaphysics, but it's also the response of a flare, so you can have a flare up, flare up and a tear up, but if you have a flare up and a tear up, you're tearing the time space continuum of the seven chakras that run through your body, so this is a lot of stuff that I will teach people about metaphysical and connection of where people still drain your energy psychically. So psychically, it's still projecting forward a focus of where I can focus my energy on your DNA coding system of obviously like the matrix, and it will break down that coding for me that will give it to me to give it to you. It triggers a response. What I've learned through a lot of these Skype call consultations is terms and conditions. It's where there is a term and there's a condition, but there's a condition that's pulled from me that gives it to you. Normally when I speak and I channel, I'm pulling it from you and it's an energy exchange, okay? It's, it's an exchange. So when we learn about energy exchange, it triggers off a response where I can figure out where your coding is of where people are going wrong, okay? But that also pulls it out from me where I learn just as much from you as what you do me. Because sometimes when I'm channeling, it gives you information that is also unlocking those secrets and those depths, depths of desire through Pandora's box. But the depths of desire of all the secrets that are locked away within the subconscious, it pulls them from me to actually give you a response of something that I didn't know myself. So it gives you the information as well as it gives me. So thank you, <laughs> you know, thank you. So I do really much appreciate that because all the people that have returned and people that I deal with on a physical level have had so much great response through how they're now responding to their own subconscious memory because it's fine tweaking your actual your own matrix system of where it will learn uh, hopefully teach you to focus your energy more on the sweet spot where you're unlocking the desire of pandora's box pandora's box does not hold one secret it holds many okay but that is locked and it's not locked down here it's locked in the subconscious memory okay so you will see things appear cards towards the end and it will give you another kind of affirmation or another thing of where I also kind of explain the same kind of thing but slightly differently but the client consultation of Skype calls and other things the exchange of empaths is so important of where trust me you are really missing the secret you're missing the secret and that's why I thought I would leave this on at the beginning for people because it's so important of the first step of what they're really missing and when they go away and you form the separation of oneself is where you end up coming back round for another fight and where it still comes back round as of another lesson with someone else because of a lot to do with what blame is but people think that blame is where you're just physically blaming someone 
there's a lot more depth to it than that. Trust me, there really, really is. But a lot of these secrets and stuff that I give to people will uh, require homework too, but it will give me a lot to give back to you, you know. So there's an exchange of, but um, it really will unlock those secrets of where people are seeking for the answer. It will give you the answer. Trust me, it will put you on your path much, much, much quicker, much quicker. So also over on Patreon, you might find some of these videos in tear where we tear up and we have tier two. Tier two is still a teaching segment that I offer certain videos as well, but there are certain things that I will only do in Skype consultations. Now a Skype consultation is just an equally and vitally important more because uh, what I'm saying, it helps me hit that spot of where you can't find it. That's why I dive into your subconscious memory that helps it dive into my subconscious memory that reflects it back from me to you, from me to you, from me to you. And we form a quality of a connection that is pulling secrets from me to give it to you and the secrets from you of where I can explore your dark side for you. <laughs> Scorpio Ascendant. But it pulls that dark side where I can explore your dark side of your subconscious memory that's here that pulls and draws the focus around so you can more focus on oneself of what we say. But self-worth comes in many forms, many, many forms that people miss. OK, but it will help you focus more on your third eye because people empathically, psychically pull from your third eye that pull you directly to focus it on them. That's the, that's the main part of what you miss. So I can help you balance your vision and help you balance your third eye that will draw balance back to you. It will draw what's meant for you back to you, okay? And to me, okay? So that's something that I offer. Leo, how are you doing? So in the UK, it's extremely hot at the moment, so I've got to get through some readings. How are you doing, Leo? So this is your September, September reading. So we're going to go straight with it. I couldn't really get, I've kind of got a song for you. It was Alan Stone. Um, no Corners to Hide or something. I forget what the song's called. Um, Here in this circle, there are no corners to hide. No corners to hide. They're in a circle. In a circle, you might be joining a circle. Um, but in a circle, there's no corners to hide. The cornerstone can't hide in a corner <laughs> because it's a cycle. And it's a circle. So let's see, Leo, 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 you did have the High Priestess and also the Lovers coming out through the pre-shuffle. Pandora's box, let's see, possible Pisces um, and also Gemini. Let's see, Leo, some of going to be this for September, Leo. Oh, so getting over something, getting over a cold is what I heard for some of you. Getting over an illness, getting over an illness. Something to do with, some of you could have lost somebody in a car or something, or you've lost a car or something, or you've just given something away. <laughs> Surprise, I don't know what I heard that for, Surprise, but just giving something away. It's like a pull of, well, who loves me, them or you? Who loves me and who do you love? Can I go forward with this person? It's more of a missing. So like someone's gone missing in a car is also what I'm picking up. It's like they, they've gone missing in a car. Someone's, someone's going out in a car and when you, or you take someone out, this is taking someone out. So it's like you take them out, but when you take them out, you feel at a loss for something. Or, or they do, they feel at a loss for something. It might be trying to take someone out to cheer them up, but it's like a feeling of like, when you're together, it's great. And then all of a sudden there's a loss. It's like, I'm not quite getting what it is that I want, but I need more. I need more out of this connection. But it's like if you take someone out for dinner or something, or they'd come to travel to see you. It's like you see the person and you feel enlightened, but then once you, but then you're like frightened. It's like there's an enlightening feeling, but a frightening feeling. It's kind of like, or it can just be like over overdoing something a lot, where you're just your vibrations low, because there's a hell of a lot of travel 
for work or there's a hell of a lot of travel involved and it's taking you away from something it's like a drifting away it's like someone's drifting away or you're drifting away drifting away it's like uh, desiring more but the unknown still like there's more yet to be told it's two vibrations it's a high and low vibration so the chariot could be out of control where be very careful I'm not predicting a future but if this is like too much daydreaming, if this really, if there's a release of energy, it's good. But someone could be like, when when they drive, they actually like break down. There's like a breakdown. It could be a breakdown service or something. A breakdown service. You could actually meet someone whilst you're broke down, or you have met someone on on your journey somewhere, and that you've met them. And that they've just finished something. It's like they've just got over something. Or they're just trying to get over something. And you've just met them. Could be a possible Taurus in their chart or Vedic chart. And it's a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or it could be in their chart. Either either way. Um, but that could also be like um, someone's just stuck like sick like sick like uh, can be like actually physically like ill because you come from the four you see the four can talk about uh, uh. someone could have like lost something or they're lost in translation somewhere there's a transforming energy but it's lost in translation Super. Definitely got a lot to do with the Six of Cups energy because that appeared in a home. But you've obviously got the sign of cancer. Yeah, so it's leading to waiting. It's like... You meet, you meet them, and then when you're away from them, you can isolate yourself and feel at loss. This can also mean Virgo. Okay, can also mean Virgo. Um, so that would be in someone's chart. Um, it's waiting on... It's like you go out for a date or something like that, and then... Sorry, but I can feel that. It's like a... Oh. <coughs> It's like you take my breath away, boom, 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 boom. Watch it in slow motion in a secret place in time. A secret place in time. Someone's got a secret place. A secret place or something. But you take my breath away, boom, boom. you got two sevens back to back. Strange. Seven, seven waiting for them to get over something so if someone has actually physically lost somebody okay like physically lost them then you're a support for them and you're waiting for them to return like of a higher vibration now if somebody is with somebody else this can be you waiting for them to split up with that person so you can like get with them but i think this is like a supporting energy of like it's still taking the focus someone could be driving a forward focus but like taking the focus off of yourself because you're you're still someone's still waiting it could be a cancer that's waiting or it, or it just means that when you're not with them you end up waiting in order to see them again so when will i see you again Yeah. 
Mm. It's like it could have to do that they've got family stuff going on with their family or that their job that they just feel someone feels at a loss a lot of the time it's 10 it's a encyclical pattern that someone goes around and around and around it's like you're you're driving some of you could be driving someone crazy or they, you drive me crazy over you but drive driving is what i'm picking up driving in slow motion but like backwards and forwards like missing them seeing them waiting for them seeing them but they could be getting over something that happens with their family. Five, you see, five here, Hierophant. Could have anything to do with public service or work or money, finances, career. But someone's at a financial loss. Or they're at loss without a family member. At loss without a family member. Because this can be a loss of a family member. Or the, or the person or the thing or the energy. And that's like family... But that's also like a, a positive guiding force also to pull someone out of this, you know. So it's like a pulling of heartstrings. It's like, I need to pull your vibration up, but at that specific point, I can't think about things that I really like for myself because I'm still a supporting energy of waiting. Three. The Three of Pentacles. It's... it's It's obviously work. Some of you could be a working relationship or it's past life karma. But it could be a working relationship. You know. Or it could just be that they've got family and you're supporting them with like or want to support them. Like you can be a very good support for them. And this is them and this is you here. Or that's them and this is you. That misses you is what I heard. Yeah, there's the high priestess. Oh, I've got to take that one. Didn't really want to, yeah, but I've got to. So you've got Pisces here, so it could be a Pisces child or Pisces in their child or Pisces is a part of their family, family also family heritage, but that's the Pandora's box, you see, Pandora's box, the things that are locked, it's to do with money and finances and obviously destiny, but it's like a loss without loads of things because you get into a complete fight over someone not speaking, or that they do, that someone doesn't speak. But that doesn't mean that they have to. It just means that someone's path. Um, because you've got five, five, and five. Five, five, and five. Because these are people that let people fight. You know, there's someone that waits to fight. It's like, I love to hate you. I, they're just like, I'm just waiting for a fight. It's like someone's vibration of a five of the hierophant <clears throat> of what happens in publicity and public life that even be a publicity service papers and stuff paperwork but marriage or anything to do with children or the breaking down of a separation of family or something or public uh, child support or anything like that but the breaking down of public service is carried as a dark energy for this person where their vibration is constantly concentrating on negative aspects of life so the negative aspects of life gets carried through this here where the negative aspect of life uh, an emotional and physical loss completely is is the fact that it's not the other person it's still what's locked inside them you know the secret the secret of success but some people don't like people's success and when they don't like it it goes around in their head and they fight They fight, which draws everybody in. So it's all to do with families, five. Soul groups, people, five. This person could be like clairvoyant and they know. This is, this is the all-seeing eye that knows. Okay. It could be a Pisces energy. 
Um, but you see, this person on the good side of things knows because they use their emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence if the person doesn't fight. If there's someone around you that doesn't fight and they bow out, then that's this po these people here. So, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, there is somebody that wants to fight, but they don't understand it. But there is also a person that does know, and that's why they don't fight. Because their energy is balanced. But there is someone that hasn't got balanced energy, because the, you know, you've got the High Priestess here. But chariot, meaning that it involves everybody, but two of them. Everybody's on like a, a, a <laughs> it's funny, but someone is also watching a Pisces here that 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 is either left somebody, like they've left and they're like bowed out and they've left the building. It's like well, I've graciously bowed out. But there is also someone that is still watching that person, that's watching them be victorious in a certain manner, that's, that's in a state of shock, that they don't want anything to do with them as well, whoever that is. But there's someone that's watching them like do well in life because they've actually walked off and they've understood about an ego. But there is also someone that's still watching someone that's like doesn't like it. Because they feel like also, for a lot of you, lost without them. There's, there's people involved in this, I feel. It's like constantly waiting on a return of something that just never arrives. It's like an arrival. Well, where is this person coming back? When's this person coming back? Well, they're working with their family or they've got family or they're working on something. But then when they come back, they carry it all with them and they fight. Because whatever's happened here, originally, of an emotional loss, it's, it's the harsh reality of life. But when we look at souls, the soul lives on. Okay? It's the memory that flashes in our head that keeps the ego alive. You know, life can be cruel, but life also goes on. You know, I'm a medium, so... <laughs> sorry, but life always goes on. You know, the longer that you stay at a low vibration of, never, of fearing fearing to let anything go in life at all you never get anywhere in life because what you're concentrating on is everything that's of a negative aspect so this is people also that are just going through all this sort of stuff as well they're understanding a lot there's a lot to do with family and businesses also that's being separated because it's a wandering energy of Shall I, shan't I? It's like going from work to family, from work to family, working real hard for a crust and wait for it to come in. But some people are, are like got different family members and it goes from one to another, or the children or the energy. It goes from one to another. But it's like, um, it's kind of like someone always needs supporting, you know, put it that way someone always needs support now if that's because someone is like generally sick and ill then there's a guiding energy here that's supporting them okay because they're using like i said this can be someone of an emotional intellect that can be very intelligent because they also use it depends of how they use their intelligence and how they also use their desire of what's locked in them to give it back you know it can be very caring sharing energy but for some of you, you might be relating it with where they're just not fucking speaking. But when they do speak, because someone's not speaking, they don't like it. And when they don't speak, they fight with them because this person perhaps doesn't want to speak. Do you know what I'm saying? There's two energies to this. Someone doesn't like to speak with people that argue with them all the time. So it makes this person shut down and be also this person that walks off. But there's another side to it where this person always wants something and every time that they come back from anything, they come back and they fight with this person because they like to do their own thing, because they don't fight. It's like someone's provoking. It's like a provoked energy. Provoking. What's that film? The provoking? Provoking? Or something? Pro there is a provoking energy here. provoking 
yeah i'm gonna leave it there okay guys so what we're gonna do is exactly all the cards will start to appear okay all the links are below it will still also be in the vimeo monthly if you just want to watch the vimeo this reading we'll continue here and then clarify everything it'll give me a bigger picture of what all this is about and what's going to happen okay uh but we'll dive a lot deeper into it um so i can get my head around a lot of this because you've got a lot of fives but you've also got someone still that's like still provoking someone but someone's still provoking the energy it's like purposely trying to get a flare out of someone to get a raise rise raise some of you might want to get a raise or they they're trying to raise awareness but trying to raise you to tweak something because if this energy can be a bad energy of needing too much is wanting too much and like some people can be like well you always get everything that you want so I'm not even like you know it can be that because you always want something what do you always want something for what what's where's my return for this investment of investing into a work or or project or like the investment into this where am I I appear missing I completely appear missing all of the time in your life it's like I'm in it but I'm in the energy, but I'm not even here. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm in your energy, but I'm not even here. It's like, so I don't see why someone's, it's, it's a weird energy I'm feeling around this reading. It's like someone's disappeared as well. I'm really picking up that someone has literally disappeared. Disappeared. And it might just be that this is not a fight that they're actually having with the person. It's just like that it goes around and around in their mind. So this can be you or them or someone, but it goes around and around. It's like what goes around comes around, but it's going around in someone's mind where they're fearing that the person's gone, you know, because this is awesome people that are missing. It's like, where have you gone? I can sense something, but this like someone also on the other end of the scale is trying to sniff out a, a provoking energy like sniff out what have you got like because this person has things whether they're secrets or not they have a gift this is gifted right so it's like a gift this is a gift of the present self here so it's like they have a gift or they're gifted and they just know so they don't intervene do you know what i mean So we will go over to the other side. So it can be on Vimeo or on Patreon. Okay, monthly folder or Patreon. If you want a personal reading still, you can follow all the links and the cards that will tell you everything about if you want a personal reading. Okay, guys, thanks very much, and I'll hopefully see you on the other side. Peace.